everyone welcome back boy can you tell that sun is just like coming in at me but at least it's sunny we've had a couple days of rain and it was cold and it was windy now it's sunny so first of all and foremost thank you thank you thank you and thank you you all have been such a blessing with encouraging words sharing your own stories bible verses words of advice some good tips some practical, practical advice. I like that. I'm sorry. I'm trying to not, I'm going to get the shadow of the sun. It is what it is. But you guys were just such a blessing. There were some of you that what you had to say was amazing. And one person said to me, if all I did was get up and get out of bed and wake up, wake up and get up, I've done enough. If I only did this, it was enough. And she kind of went through steps of my day and reminded me it was enough. And um, I needed that. I needed to hear that. So uh, if you're watching and you know who you were that sent that wonderful message, that probably, um, there, were, uh, there were so many that were so encouraging. But that one in particular was just practical. It was just like saying to myself, just breathe, Lynn, just breathe. And just knowing that I woke up and I got up and that is enough. And if I woke up and got up and brushed my teeth and made coffee, that is enough. And some days that's what we just need to do. So just wanted to do a little plug for all of you guys. And I wanted to thank you for that. One of the videos I said I'd be doing this week is a Dollar Tree haul. So most of you know, if you're my regulars, you know I love the Dollar Tree. If it is my place of therapy. It's cheaper to pay $1.25 than to go to a therapist. So there are days I will just say to my husband, I'm going to the Dollar Tree and I'll get a cart later at night when there's not too many people. We have a Dollar Tree that's maybe two minutes from my house. And um, far enough not to want to walk it, but close enough to drive it. And I'll just go for a stroll and walk up and down and take my time and look to see what's new and ooh, what's this and ooh, what's that. And um, I used to buy quite a bit more. Um, you know, sometimes you buy things because you're on YouTube and people are coming to your YouTube to see what's happening in your world. So you want to have things to show people. I have cut that way back. Anything I've ever bought, I have honestly used or I've passed on to someone who could use it. It was never junk, it was never thrown out, it was never anything like that. So why do I go to the Dollar Tree and what do I buy at the Dollar Tree? And how do I use these items from the Dollar Tree? Because I get that question all the time, it's like, why do you go? Well, why do I go? First of all, it, honestly, it is therapeutic. It is a cheap place for me to go. We do not take elaborate vacations. We don't do fancy schmancy anything. Um, for various reasons, we just don't. But going to the Dollar Tree is my my little out. I can go in and buy a candy bar and um, maybe a craft item and spend two bucks and walk out and feel happy. Maybe go in and just look and browse and feel happy. I go because, why do I go? Because I enjoy it. I like it. And I'm not making any excuses. I do like it. Um, I'm a fan of the Dollar Tree. Um, how do I use the items and what are the items I purchase? Well, that's what I'm going to show you now. Now, some of these items, you could go to a more poshy store and get a better quality that might last longer and so on and so forth. I'm not denying that at all, but I will say this. If you're like me and you got a little ADD in you or XYZ or whatever you want to call it, I don't always like things more than a season. There are seasonal items I will buy. I might, let's say I spend $10 on a season and at the end of the season, I don't want it anymore. And I put it in a thrift store or pass it on to a friend or we have a, a table in our office that we just put things on and everybody can share and swap out. So if I spend $10, I'm not concerned. And I've had people say, well, that's a waste of money. Well, do you buy a real Christmas tree? That's a waste of money. I mean, if you want to say it that way, I love real trees, but it's disposable. Um, good grief, you go to McDonald's, you're going to 
spend ten dollars on a meal that's no good for you and it's disposed of in five minutes and it's on your hips for life so you know i i don't i don't worry about ten dollars twelve dollars you know if i'm going to spend on the upwards of mm, going up there then i might think differently so what did i get for my dog what did i get i got him a pet blanket and it's just a nice blue plaid we bought him a new dog bed I've never gotten a dog bed where the base of it is sort of a, uh, I don't know, not a vinyl. It, it's not plastic. I don't know what you would call it, but it's crinkly and he seems to like it, but it makes a terrible sound every time he's back and forth and whatnot. So I just thought for the winter, it's just a small, I don't even know. Let's open it up. We'll see how big it is. Just a little dog blanket that he could call his own. There you go. Look at that. Perfect size, just very small, but it'll fit inside his dog bed and maybe be a little bit cozier for him. $1.25, not going to break the bank. Now, I bought one of these. I saw these on somebody else's YouTube channel, and these are for dogs who tend to gulp their food down, and that is one of the things our dog will do. Some days he doesn't, other days he does. But I also thought our dog tends to get bored and so we're always looking for something to sort of stimulate him a little bit. And I thought once in a while, maybe putting his breakfast in this, just to give him a bit more of a challenge to eat and to slow down. If you look on Amazon or any of the pet stores, these could be $25. So for $1.25, I'm gonna get a tr give it a try. So to go in his Christmas stocking, yes, we have a Christmas stocking for our little pup. Um, we usually put a like a really big dog biscuit and then break it up, you know, over time. But I found this doggy treat puzzle and it looks like a bone and it's just got um, little circles and they sniff it and they're supposed to push it open. We had gotten something like this for him at a thrift store maybe two years ago and he used it quite a bit and it was like he had to push them over and like anything, it's like a child, they get bored with toys. So we passed that on to another friend that had a dog. So I thought for his Christmas stocking for $1.25, I would get that for him. So we have a little battle in our family, okay? My husband likes the big plush bath towels, like thick, I can't stand them. I want a really thin, thin um, bath towel. So when I get out of the shower, I don't want something heavy. That's what he likes. So I usually get what he likes. And we had a few that were thinner. Well, they've gone to the point of, you know, when you go to dry off and then they <laughs> shred, like I've had to throw them out. Well, Dollar Tree now has one pack bath towel, 100% cotton for three bucks. So I got myself two of them. They're very thin, um, you know, not soup, not paper thin, but thin enough that for me, I like the ones you get at Walmart, they're very well made, but they're thicker and I don't like them. So I found $3 towels for me. So I got two of them. So he can have the red ones and I'll have the gray ones and we'll have a happy home once again. Um, my favorite face cleanser, I've been using this probably, I don't know, five years. I love it. It's by Pons Clear Solutions Facial Foam. I like it. It's it's cleans my face. It takes off my makeup. Um, you only need a little bit. I really like it. So I picked up three of these. Picked up these um, wood clothespins. There's 22 in here, and uh, normal, you know, little small clothespins. I thought they were cool. I got those. I I'm making uh, Margaret, who is one of the viewers, had sent me a bunch of gift tags. I think last year and the year before, if I'm not mistaken and gave me the instructions on how to do it from old Christmas cards and so I saved my cards from last year I'm making them for this year but I'm making gift tags out of them and I don't want to just tie them to the bag I want I always like to do something a little different so this year I'm going to use these clothespins and clip it to the bag I thought that would be kind of fun something a little different um these are my favorite ones they're travel wipes I carry these in my purse I carry them in my tote for work. I usually try and keep one in my desk at work as well. And my son both have a certain soap that they get, a man's soap, 
but it comes in a bar and they're always leaving it on in the shower and it's just, eh, you know. So I saw these, there were two soap savers, two of them for $1.25 and they're quite nice. They're nicely made. So I thought I could put their soap on that. Had to get a treat while we were there and peanut butter filled shapes, pretzels and peanuts and pretzels, peanuts, peanut butter filled shapes. And I guess they're both the same. One says Rudolph snack mix. I guess, I guess they're exactly the same. They're by Palmer, but this one has Rudolph in this little look, and this one has in this bag, it's got Santa. So they're cute. I thought these would even be cute for stocking stuffers or adding to a gift bag or something like that. But yes, got those. I'm probably gonna bring those, leave it on my office desk and share them with a coworker. I picked up a table runner. This was in the plus section. This was $5, just like this was in the plus section a table runner. So red here, this is right here. This is the traditional colors of Christmas. I like the traditional colors. I pocket envelope. It's got a snap here, closure, and then it's got like a little Ziploc kind of thing here. Got that for my car uh, and my new van, my new van, new to me. First of all, it's not brand new. It's new used, new to me used van. I got it in November a year ago. And, uh, you know, it's like anything. You got to try it on for size, figure out where you want to store things, but it does have two glove compartments. So we have a mom and a dad compartment. And I told my husband, stay out of mine because he likes to shove a bunch of stuff and I don't, but I needed something different to put like my, uh, car insurance and registration. And I like it clear so I can have it facing outwards and have it facing outwards. So if I were to get pulled over, don't plan on doing that. Or, you know, things happen. You just, somebody else borrows your car. It's very, there it is right there. Everything's current. I can see it. So I picked that up. A couple of baking things that I picked up. I really like these pre-cut parchment papers, 25 sheets. I like the convenience. I have probably three or four boxes in my kitchen. I use parchment paper all the time, but for $1.25 to get 25 sheets of pre-cut parchment paper, I thought that was a good so deal. I'm trying out some new things. Um, trying to, I have a couple of friends that are gluten-free and I've never done gluten-free. I'm not opposed to doing gluten-free. It's just not something I need to do for my family. And this is 100% gluten-free and it's organic coconut flour. Now, how organic is it? I don't know. But it says gluten-free, kosher, keto-friendly, dairy-free, and all-natural coconut flour. So there you go. For $1.25, I picked this up. It says it's 100% organic, no GMOs, preservative-free. Um, keep in a cool, dry place. I will probably use this but keep it in my freezer until I need to use it. It's good until August, 2025. Use fiber in smoothies and shakes and more. Thicken sauces, gravies, and soups. It gives you a website to go on for recipes, use for flour and cookies, cakes, so on and so forth. So I wanna try and make some scones for my coworkers. I do baking once in a while, but again, a couple are gluten-free. And I don't want to spend a buku amount of money on something like this and the recipe doesn't taste good. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to try for $1.25, get a small bag, try it out, see what I think, and I can go from there. Have any of you tried this that use coconut flour? Do you like it? Is it as good as like a King Arthur or Walmart brand? Again, I could probably get maybe, you know, three or four times of making some scones out of this or cookies. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna give it a shot and see. So a couple more things real quick. I picked one of these up for $1.25, hardware storage case. It's great, it's got all these little compartments. We use these at work for a lot of things that we have to store, but I have some little tidbits that I just need to store. Some odds and ends, and it's got the cubbies. You cannot move these out. 
but that's okay. $1.25, I have one like this that I have, I've kept my earrings in and I just color code. I put, you know, my bigger earrings in here, my greens, my blues, my browns. So when I go to pick out an outfit, I can look in my silvers or whatever, but I've got some craft things I want to do with that. The other thing I picked up, I'm all excited. Um, if you don't know, I have my first grandson on his way in January and um, <laughs> just like a good grandmother would, she bought books. So I picked up these three. One is Be Joyful, Be Patient, and Faith is Strong. And inside, I liked them because they're hardcover, but it has Bible verses with a picture. And that's all it is, it's just Bible verses. And I will be reading that to my grandson. The other one I got, God Made Family and God Made Nature. And yeah, like he made mommies, he made daddies. Just very simple, but I'm excited. So we're setting up like a little toy bin for him. Yes, he's a newborn in January, but you know, I gotta get started. I, I, I'm excited about that. and. I have had people kind of, oh, what are you doing? You're starting already? Yes, I'm starting already. I've never had a grandson. I'm excited. I haven't had little ones in my home in years. I'm excited. I'm getting started. End of story. I did get some uh, ones. Here's the story of Noah's Ark. These are great. Like if you have a baby shower to go to or you've got grandchildren, Daniel and the Lion's Den, David and Goliath. I hope there is not a shadow on here. I'm seeing it on my end. I hope you're okay. And Joshua. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho. And the wall came tumbling down. So that's pretty much what I'm working on in my life right now. For those of you that watched my last video, um, I am still struggling. I Things are a little bit lighter emotionally today. I don't know why they just are. Probably and mostly because of all of you that are praying for me. But um, I need to be a Joshua. And I need to have the walls come tumbling down and know that the battle has been won. So that's what I'm working on. So the last thing that I'm going to show you, I don't know if you're going to be able to. Yeah, I think you can see that iridescent. Look at that. Nice lid, good size jar. How, let's see if it tells me how much. No, I have no idea how much fits in here. But I, you know what, for $1.25, look how gorgeous. So I am going to be giving my co-workers tomorrow at a Christmas party. I have made for the last couple of years, probably the last three years, foot soaks, you know, peppermint foot soak, lavender, citrus, all kinds of stuff with Epsom salts and powdered milk and lavender seeds and all this good stuff. And so I made a little uh, card on Canva that said for your mistletoes, and I'm making a foot soak, so I'll put on the back of the card, just, you know, take maybe a, um, a third of a cup or a quarter of a cup, sprinkle in a foot bath, and just let your feet soak after a long, hard day at work. So I'm giving each girl that I work with a jar filled with the foot soak with a little thing that said, the, you know, for your missile toes. I thought that was cute. And um, I'm also, I picked up, I don't know where I put them. I don't see them. Oh, they're way over on the other side. I don't feel like getting up. But um, peppermint and another Christmas tea by Twinings, I think is how you pronounce it. And so I'm going to put a couple of either chocolates or peppermint in a bag with one of each of those teas. Tell them to enjoy a cup of tea as they soak their mistletoes and enjoy the holiday season. So I just thought inexpensive, if you need an inexpensive gift, you can get the jars for $1.25. You can get all the ingredients that you need. Other than you can make a foot soak without the powdered milk. To me, the powdered milk is what really makes your feet soft, but you can make it without it. But you can get most of your ingredients, if not all of them at the Dollar Tree. The teas, you cannot get there, but I got those at Stop and Shop on sale. You could get a different, you don't have to do the Christmas teas. You can do something else. But a nice inexpensive gift for coworkers, ladies at the church, your neighbors, you know, even your your daughters, your grown up daughters, and you're like, what do I get them? Make something homemade like that. So that's why I go to the Dollar Tree. 
what do I buy and how do I use it? All of this is practical. All of this is now going right now to a place that will be used. It'll be used immediately. So there's nothing here that, well, you know, I'm, I just got it to put in the stash. The only thing that would be in the stash would be a stockpile stash, but nothing that'll be just because I felt like getting it. So that's my story for today and I'm sticking to it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and I'll catch you all on the next video.